Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode here on Zeta Krog. In the previous episodes we started hollowing out the area, creating a path and I have been doing some work off camera. As you can see this opens up quite nicely, runs down here, I have it split up into two and then it comes into here. This is where the elevator is so it needs to be here and then I open up to back here. So the idea is to maybe put in chests over here and then have the items go from there underground to here into a sorting system which we will be working on today. Also I want to maybe try and do a little farm. I think a creeper farm because I need gunpowder because you see between episodes I went to the end and just got myself a pair of wings because it was time. So let me quickly show you over here. This is the path. This I will still do a bit better. I'm currently busy with it, starting with it. This is the staircase and this is just the design I came up with. Again, not done. I need to texturize it all. Add a little waterfall. I need to take out that dirt block. A little waterfall running down into a little pond. And I want to bring in water all over. So because it's lush caves, so I'll just add maybe a bit of clay blocks as well. I'll think about it and maybe drip leaves. The baby ones if I could. Yes, so I did it all the way up to here, created this little area and then open this up a bit more but it still needs to get texturized but I mean we're at least getting there. So I think it's time to just get some supplies and then start working on the storage for the skelly farm. So this is editing me, future me if you want. Can you guys hear I've got a bit of sinus problems? <laughs> I do apologize about that. It is currently rainy season here, so all the rain's got everything going bonkers. So I do apologize for the little bit of a condition, conditioned, <laughs> congested sound, and hopefully it will be better soon. So we're down here at the skelly spawner again, and it's still active. This is where they drop down. So I cleared out this area ready for the hoppers and for the item dispenser that will shoot the items down into a water stream, carry them over and into this area that will be our storage. We do have two rows for bows, I don't know, I think it's too much, one for arrows and then we've got all our bows in this one, enchanted and normal, these will be manually sorted and all the rest of the stuff will end up in here. We can take out what we want and what we won't, don't want, we'll dispense. I'm going to add a little form of a trash can over here just so we can get rid of it easily. I was considering smelting up these. Might still change my mind, not sure at the moment. So yes, that's it. And I did hollow out the area for the sorting system. So I'm gonna quickly get this in place and then I'll bring you guys back. So a bit more work has been done and I've started by adding the first module of the sorting system. It's a design by Impulse SV, if I'm not mistaken. So what happens is we've got one final hopper pointing into a slab and that's the input line. So right over here we need to have a comparator. We need to do redstone, dust, tor torch not there, and then repeater. So we're going to run this around all the way through. This one will not have a sorting system as that's the bows. So let me quickly put the rest in. So I might have gotten a little bit carried away, <laughs> finished that part, finished the sorting system. So, and in the end it only had to be these three, two for bones, one for arrows, because the bows we sort manually and the junk we'll get rid of. And then over here we've got the elevator where the stuff goes up. But I think the best way to show you guys what I did is maybe going to free cam. So if we have a look, we have the skellies going down, going up. And when they fall down, they one hit kill. And when I kill them, everything goes into the hoppers. Oh, yeah, hoppers into the dropper. We've got this little clock system, dispenses that out into the water stream, goes over them, around the corner, up the bubble elevator, and into the filters and into the hoppers. So that is how that works. So I do think what I want to do next is maybe just decorate this room so. I think it's time for a little bit of a time lapse.
and some of it's done. I think this really makes it look more like a cave and it's starting to look re real good. We have our sorting system working, it's been piling in. And we even installed off camera, just did a little trash can. So if there's something we don't want, let's say just these three bows, chuck them in. Nope, you can't hear them burn, but then they burn this little same type of clock over here that just shot, shoots it all into a lava bucket. I uh, will be thinking about maybe, well I have to touch up the roof, but adding light so I can turn this farm on and off. But for the most part I don't think it's necessary. We have do have a problem with those guys. They spawn and then, well they light up the area. So I might, I'm not sure if it will work if I just leave an axolotl in here. We'll see. And then if that works then it might double as a glow ink sack form anyway so this area has been done i think it looks good i will continue whatever is going on yeah well, not whatever this feeling i will continue on with this path going this way heading all the way over there and so forth i'll do it between episodes i might even do a bit more time lapses of that but you guys will see it when you see it so yeah let me know down in the comments what do you think of this area does it look like a cave do you think this style will work for the rest of the base? Let me know before I go too far and then you guys are like, Dio, we do not like it. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to gather up some resources, get some stuff ready, and then I think it's time to build a creeper farm. Because I've got wings, but no rockets. So, be right back. So as mentioned, we're ready to start building our first ever mob farm in this case a creeper farm because we need rockets or gunpowder for rockets so as you guys can see i've been breeding up the cats I'm still breeding them up there's quite a bunch of them and i also took the time to link up the farm location via the nether but i'm gonna fly there just to show you guys where it is so if we head on over here then you can see it right in we've got this big open area that's the bottom of the farm more or less and this will be the AFK spot and where we come through with the portal. So it's not too far and yeah, it's going to be quite convenient. So I think it is time for us to roll another time lapse as we build the creeper farm. <laughs> what a time-consuming build guys but and girls <laughs> but it's all complete this design is a farm by chapman i will link his video down in the description so let's just quickly fly on down and just go through everything so over here obviously the sporting platform over here obviously the afk platform and then we've got the farm down here in the time lapse i only built a few layers but off camera i did a bunch more and then they all drop down into the chute onto campfires where they slowly get cooked and then turned into gunpowder so this is some of what we got while just building the farm which is quite nice but also i've been afk for about 10 minutes and yeah that's quite a lot that's almost that's almost three stacks no no almost two stacks so it's quite efficient and works quite well 
So I will be AFKing here a bit more just so I can get some rockets going. Um, so I don't have to buy them. But also I am totally out of diamonds. Because I had to buy, well, stone and wood to finish the farm. So yeah. I'm going to fly over to base where I quickly want to discuss something with you guys. So back in base and just a quick serious little talk so for all of you that are regulars on the channel or they keep on watching the videos on time or well when they go out you would have noticed that this video is late not a little late quite a lot late and i apologize for that because what happens is life happens sometimes real life happens and i need to tend to that first because if i don't tend to life i can't do this so I do apologize for the delay and for it being late. Hopefully everything will be back to normal next week again. But if you guys are scared, you don't know when the video is going to come out, or if you want to know more information about this, then head on over, go follow me on Twitter, links in the description. Also, I've got a Discord. I don't think it's 100% operational, so I will, I will launch it next week, operational or not. Next week you all have the link to that as well, so you can go follow me on that. So that's it. So I do apologize for the delay and thank you for everyone that understands. And I'm looking forward to seeing you guys in the next episode. So do enjoy the rest of your week or what's left of it. And have a great weekend and I'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye for now.